I mean, my, I've got sort of two, two issues linked to the, the aspect of the lack of analysis of the broader political economy in terms of globalization and uh, global economic policies that uh, our governments have adopted um, in this whole climate discourse. So, for instance, there would be you know, many discussions about farmers adap um, um, adapting to climate change and they have to change their planting seasons and change their seeds. But somehow the whole aspect of, uh, of trade and uh, uh, global subsidies or how people's food security and food sovereignty is affected by global corporations just sort of left out of this debate. And so all the focus is like, you know, on small scale farmers and all these little adaptation projects. Um, similarly, the whole discourse about the commodification of the global commons or nature, I mean, I'm, I get the sense that media is accepting that it's okay to privatize the air, it's okay to privatize uh, the, the forest, and now these things called uh, soil carbon credits, so there's even you know, the, the very soil that we grow food has become a commodity. So um, again, so the whole discourse seems to be how could we make uh, you know as much money out of climate change? Not we, what all business? So, so the yeah. So there's a, I feel that in this whole kind of uh, debate, there's a there's a really there's the media's kind of following the mainstream, and we and there isn't enough space to question the discourse in terms of um, globalization, the role of the World Bank. Um, uh, the World Trade Organization, and to say that there are journalists, I can speak well for experiences with the WTO, like someone like Anne Crotty, does go out of a way to like find out, you know, what does the um, the general agreement on, on services mean for South Africa if South Africa adopts it. But I don't. I find that in the sort of climate change that you know, yeah, that media is kind of uh, kind of you know not doing as much work to. If, you know, if the media is supposed to give both sides of the story, they certainly, the, the mainstream debates are dominating and they're not seeming to get just other critical voices where people have done sort of research and looked at what these implications could be.